Hey everyone, Kevin from Parallax. I'm here at my house with a few Parallax products that I've put into my wall outlet. With this setup, I have full control of my indoor and outdoor lighting. Coupled with the sensors I've placed outside, I'm able to automate my lighting while monitoring the outside temperature. On the main plate, all you see is the seven segment display for temperature, a button to switch on the lights, and indicators to indicate the lights are on or off. Here we are outside, and I'm standing next to where the two sensors are, but there's an LM34 for the temperature and a phototransistor just for the light sensing. They are actually right here, and I put a little hole and put them outside and then cover them up with some paint. Okay, so since it's really hot outside, we got a real high temperature, I'm gonna grab an ice cube, we'll just put it on the sensor and watch the temperature change. So now I'm gonna show you a few details about the parts I used. So here's a detail of all the parts used in the project. Over on this side, these are all the parallax parts, and on this side, these are extra parts that you can buy. Uh, you can get these from Radio Shack, the plate from Home Depot, and just a switching power supply from really anywhere. Basically, I had a switching adapter that was in the wall that allowed me to convert that high voltage. This here is the brains of the system. It's the Prop Mini that monitors the two sensors, the temperature sensor, LM34, and the phototransistor. And then it uses the data coming in from the switches and the sensors to switch on and off the lights from the relays. The light pipes will show you the LED status on the relays. And then the seven segments here will display the temperature. And then these ICs are the 74HC595 serial parallel ICs that, of course, connect up each to the seven segments to run those. One more thing I wanted to show you that I put inside the outlet. It's an XB wireless transceiver. This guy allows me to send any kind of data from that box to another XB wireless transceiver. And that will enable me to use those same sensors anywhere in the house or even control that box remotely. For more information, go ahead and take a look at the documents I put together, including a parts list, a schematic, and some sample code. Thanks for watching.